Krishna dear souls out there in the world, welcome back for another hopefully soothing session of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, and for those of you who aren't aware of what this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is, how it goes, what it's about in other words, dear souls out there in the world, um, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised and constructed into a 16 name sentence which just goes Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Um, it helps to tame the mind, you know, we might find, we may not, but we might find that the mind can be a little bit out of control. Um, you know, things coming up to the surface or, you know, things that we're dealing with. Problems that we may think are problems. But, um, you know, from an outsider's point of view, it's like, that's not really much of a problem. But, you know, we can catastrophize, catastrophize, I would say to ourselves in the world, make it bigger than it is, you know. And I've done all of this in the past. I'm, you know, hopefully whatever I say is never coming from a place of judging or that I'm superior than anyone else. Um ourselves in the world because I've experienced it all. <laughs> Probably if you've thought it, I've experienced it, generally speaking. Not everything, but, you know, a lot. Um, you know, I've been in situations where I'm sure anyone would feel embarrassed about, <laughs> you know, if they were in that situation or feel guilty over or all of these kinds of things. You know, I've been in very dark situations. Um, that I've put myself into. Um, so if any of you dear souls out there in the world can relate to that, you know, I, I've been there, you know, so I can understand um, all of these kinds of things, generally speaking. And so this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra brings light into one's life, in my personal experience. In my personal experience, dear souls in the world, it's the only thing that's brought light into my life, because according to the ancient yoga meditation, Western science, Western India, dear souls that are in the world, um, matter on its own can't do that, you know. But our culture, um, generally speaking, has made a big deal out of matter, you know. Ooh, matter. Um, ooh, the body. Ooh, your mind. It can do so much for you. But really, according to this ancient... Uh, yoga meditation with some science in India, it can't do that much on its own, and it can't solve that much on its own. Um, we need to combine the material energy with a, a superior energy, a transcendental energy, um, in order to make real progressive strides in life um, that go beyond any kind of accomplishment that you can make um, simply by moving matter around, so to speak, you know. So this is never about neglecting um, what you need in order to keep the body healthy, in order to do what you need to do, basically, you know, in order to... Um, make sure you're still living, um, but uh, the, as far as I'm aware, I can remember, the ancient yoga meditation with some science texts from ancient India, they ask us, is that all, you know, is that all there is to life? So this meditation is a way to realize that, no, it's not, you know, um, there is something more to life than simply working, buying, consuming, and then dying. Um, and uh, something that can actually give genuine light to your life. Um, and uh, can provide you with a fulfillment. Sorry, I'm say to ourselves at the world. It can provide you with a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction that goes beyond anything that you could possibly achieve um, through matter alone, if that makes sense to us as the world. Um, and we can see in this age of Kali Yuga, the age of quarrel, which that's what it translates to, um, which
which is described in the ancient yoga meditation with some science text mentioned here, um, that the ways in which we're trying to find meaning, fulfillment, satisfaction, are becoming darker and darker and darker, you know, um, to the point where abuse is now normalized, um, it's like the normal thing, even within parenting, you know, to swear at a child, it's normal, you know, whereas it probably didn't used to be the norm, you know, or kind of like you just take it as, oh yeah, that's how you parent, you know. So everything's just becoming more and more degraded, um, more uh, plasticky, like fake, you know, um, that if you walk around simply with a fake smile, then it's a success, you've had it, you've done a good, so they do a thousand year old, you've had a good day, like you've achieved, if you were able to convince others that you were happy, but you were really not on the inside, then that's a success. So everything's kind of back to front in a way, or really it is. And this is how you um, get in touch with the real self, soul, beyond body and mind. And according to the ancient yoga meditation, wisdom, science, text, which India, as far as I'm aware, I can remember and have read, in other words, to ourselves in the world, um, uh, this is how you are then able to express yourself genuinely. Um, yeah, there's actually a great quote by this great saint and soul, Holy Stephen Reed Swami, and you'll find as you keep listening to these great saints and souls, they're simply repeating the ancient science. It's not like they're coming up with their own concoctions. The way they deliver it might be in a different style, because maybe they might be speaking to a particular audience, and it's respectful, as far as I'm aware, to cater the same message um, in a way that suits the audience, you know, but if you really listen to what they're saying, it's like, oh, that's kind of what, that is what is written in the um, ancient yoga meditation wisdom science, so you find that, you know, everything's just done in a mode of respect um, in terms of uh, teaching others about, you know, how to really satisfy you, soul, beyond body and mind, how to fully nourish your heart, the Saha process, is what I've heard from this great saint of soul, it's only instead of Mata Swami. And there are many Swamis, you know, so it's not like you have to stick with one thing, um, you know, one person, one, um, you know, there's so much variety but, um, yeah, ultimately the knowledge is uh, unchanging, you know. But we're so used to knowledge that changes. It's called theories. Um, yeah, people come up with one theory and then they change it for another. So that's the norm as well. So the idea of some kind of a knowledge that doesn't change might seem a little bit like, um, like yuck you know, compared because of what we're used to. So a big part of um, our current uh, mental patterns, so to speak, to ourselves in the world, is because of our condition and what we've been brought up in, you know, and then that becomes the norm. And then it can be very, very difficult to come out of that, you know, but simply through the expressing of this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, um, the whole process becomes very, very easy in terms of actually being able to nourish yourself with um, knowledge that um, doesn't leave you high and dry and um, a fulfillment that never leaves you, you know. So it's all about that which um, can stay. Um, uh, and fully nourish. So, I hope that's not too deep, that introduction. So, those of you who aren't familiar with this mantra, I'll say it one more time, because I think I said it one time already. So, it's comprised of three names, Hare Krishna and Rama. And then those three names are comprised into a 16-name sentence, 
Which just goes Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And I'll say it one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Feel free to express this mantra in any way that's most comfortable for you, whispering it, mouthing it, thinking it, screaming it, shouting it, singing it. I apologize if I've left any other form of expression out, because this really should be, as far as I'm aware, an unconditional process. Um, because we may end up in any kind of condition, physiologically, psychologically, you know. Um, I was just hearing uh, from this great saint as well as Lani Sajjana Swami that it's not, Simon Sajjana says in the world, it's not that once you start uh, sinking yourself or diving into this meditation that your whole life becomes nice externally and that you'll never face any kind of traumas or you'll never go through any kind of um, uh, experiences that appear to be negative um, you know these things still may come you know and from what I've seen they do you know for most people anyway I can't speak for everyone, but, you know, from what I've seen, um, including my own personal experiences. And so this mantra allows you to, if you choose to, go so deep into meditation that you're able to um, overcome any situation. Uh, yeah, so it's a matter of how much heart are you going to give this meditation. And I hope I'm not scaring anyone off to ourselves in the world. For those of you who are new to this meditation, um, it's all about what's most comfortable. You know, any time, anywhere, as far as I understand, from the ancient yoga meditation, wisdom, science, teaching in ancient India, to ourselves out in the world. Um, you know, lying down, sitting, standing, dancing, uh, walking from place to place, um, yeah, any kind of expression, screaming, shouting, etc., etc., whispering, mouthing, thinking, um, singing, to ourselves in the world. Again, I apologize if I've left any other form of expression out in terms of how to express this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Um, yeah, and all I'd recommend, one thing I should say to ourselves in the world, I would recommend is to simply stay where you are, you know, um, and then go from there through the expressing of this Hare Krishna Mantra, your whole life will change, especially on the inside. Um, you know, because material nature is changing anyway. Um, you know, so as opposed to being drifted along by material nature, you know, um, we can really... Uh, develop internal control amongst all of the changes. So, that's my awareness anyway and understanding to ourselves in the world. So I'll begin with some Hare Krishna Mahamantra meditation and I may stand up at some point and dance. Who knows? But I'm going to use my hands instruments so I'm going to do this in a singing style a musical style in other words to ourselves in the world. Um, I apologise to ourselves in the world if that's not your cup of tea but However, I choose to um, engage in this meditation with you. Your, um, you have, sorry, I'm say to ourselves in the world. You have full uh, right, if that makes sense, to ourselves in the world, to engage with me in any way that you like to. Yeah. So it could be expressing this mantra with me every single mantra, every second mantra. The other ways. Described before, you know, whispering, shouting, singing, etc., etc., singing, mouthing, thinking, whispering. And this is that they're already doing so small. So we'll begin. So I just want to use meditation. And the melody may change from time to time, so feel free to just do your best, put as much of your heart into this meditation as you can. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Hare hey, hey. Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare hey, hey. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Nah, Hare Krishna, Krishna.
Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Hey Hare Rama Hare Rama Oh Rama Rama Hare Hare Hey Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Ha Ha Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare. Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare. Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Ha Ha Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Hey Hare Rama Hare Rama Hurry, hurry, hurry.
Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Thank welcome. Uh, what am I meant to say? Do a sudden word. Um, well done. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Do a sudden word. Well done for your uh, sincere and heartfelt participation in this meditation. That is what's most important. You know, it's funny because you know I could think, oh, you know, my singing voice it belongs to me, but no, it could be taken from me at any point. So how can it be mine? All of these things that we have temporarily, um, they're really um, not ours. Um, what's most important in that case to focus on is what is us. 